Welcome to the Sales Influence Podcast, where we talk about finding the why in how people buy. I'm your host, Victor Antonio. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for lending me your ears. Hey, today I want to talk about, you know, we're having these virtual meetings, right? We're having these virtual connections. We're trying to make those connections. We're trying to build those relationships. But how do you do it? How do you start? Because it's always the start that stops us. In other words, how we start out a meeting will determine how the flow or the tone of the meeting will go. So I want to give you a simple strategy that you may have used already, but maybe you're not using that you should be using. Now, this strategy only works with small, medium-sized groups. By that, I mean no more than five or seven people. More than five or seven people, it starts to get a little complicated. More than seven, it gets really complicated. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to think about when you're getting the meeting started, and this is assuming that you're starting the meeting. You're the person kicking off the meeting. And because you're kicking off the meeting, you want everybody to participate. So how do you do it? Well, here's what you're going to do. You're going to ask for everybody's opinion, and then you're going to first give your opinion first. For example, maybe you can start out your meeting like this. Before we get started, let's go around the screen get it, not around the table, let's go around the screen and let's give one highlight from last week. I'll go first. And then I would give my first, my highlight from last week. Now, I would also add this little twist to it. Before we get started, let's go around the screen and basically give one highlight from last week. You'll have 60 seconds to do it. I'll go first. Now, it's good to put 60 seconds in there so people just don't talk too long, but this gives people permission to actually contribute. Now, by you going first, you set the tone. Then, what you're going to do is you're going to add the next person. In other words, you don't just say, well, who wants to go next? See, that's the biggest mistake people make when they interact online. Well, who has an opinion? Who wants to go next? Who wants to volunteer? And nobody does. And there's always like this five-second hesitation. And because nobody else is jumping in, then have you ever noticed like two or three people jump in at the same time and then they start stepping all over each other and it becomes really uncomfortable. So what you're going to say is after you're done sharing your one highlight in less than 60 seconds, you're going to say, Bob, you go next. Or Jill, you go next. Let's see what you were up to last week. Give me a highlight. And you point, so to speak, virtually point to the next person. And once that person's done, Bob is done. All right. Nancy, what do you have? Give us one highlight, 60 seconds or less. Always remind them, 60 seconds or less. And you go around the screen. And again, this works when you got five or seven people or less. Let's just say less than seven. Anything more than that, it gets a little long, if you know what I mean. Uh, If you got a lot of people, let's say 10 people, maybe you could say 30 seconds or less. Now, keep in mind, as you're doing this, Try to have some fun. You're the moderator. Try to have some fun with this to kind of increase, you know, the just make everybody relax, you know, a little levity, if you know what I mean. So if somebody says something funny or maybe something that's a little odd, you know, a little odd, you might want to comment on it just to kind of, again, just kind of make it a casual feel to get the meeting started. What you're going to find, what you're going to feel, I should say, is people are going to want to connect more. You're going to find that they're more engaging. And again, because they feel more engaged and more connected, they're going to volunteer more information throughout the meeting. So again, the bottom line result is you're going to get more interaction by taking just a little bit of time up front to go around the screen. And again, the biggest mistake you can make is, again, asking everybody for a highlight. It could be something personal, professional, whatever it may be. You can come up with the question. You do the 60-second share, but remember, do not say, who wants to go next? Or, does anybody else want to volunteer something? It never works. So again, make sure you point virtually to the next person and keep it going. And that is it for the Sales Influence Podcast. This is all about, when I talk about sales influence and why people buy, what I'm selling here is I want people to buy into the meeting. I want people to feel comfortable in the meeting so they can give more information, volunteer more content, and therefore we can have a productive meeting. So this Sales Influence Podcast is dedicated to that. So leave me some feedback on iTunes, Stitcher, or YouTube. Let me know what you think. I truly would appreciate your feedback. Also, if you haven't checked it out, check out the Sales Velocity Academy at salesvelocityacademy.com. Also, 
Every month, I'm doing two webinars, two half-day webinars, different workshops, master classes, if you will. So go to my website, victorantonio.com, and see what's coming up next. Look forward to seeing you in one of those workshops. And that's it. This is Victor Antonio, always reminding you, selenate hard when you know how. Take care. I'm Victor Antonio. I'm an author, sales trainer, and keynote speaker. I'm often asked, what makes a great speaker? Is it someone who delivers real content that the audience can use? Is it someone who engages the audience so they're part of the learning experience? Or is it someone who can motivate an audience to push them beyond their comfort zone and discover new abilities? The answer is yes. But the most important thing to remember is that I'm not there to look good. I'm there to make my client look good. Simply put, it's never about me, and it's always about them.